I want 45 to stand out. Like, if I, don't, if I ain't doing nothing else right, you're going to know I'm around that ball, I'm hustling, I'm giving it my all. You're going to know that I truly love the game. Second and 10. Toss to Edwards and Lair. Everyone has a different taste in linebacker. For my older guys, Devin Singletary, Dick Butkus, for those middle generation guys, you look at Ray Lewis, you look at Brian Erlacher. For the younger ones, not particularly my age, but a little bit older, you look at Patrick Willis, you look at Luke Keekley. And for me, I look at Fred Warner, I look at Roquan Smith, Matt Milano, and today's guy, Devin White. Now, for the topic of discussion for this video, I want to take it back to 2021 because Devin White was at the top of the NFL for linebacker play. He was the pinnacle of what a linebacker in today's NFL looks like. Came out of LSU, top 10 pick, a running back convert. So we knew that he had the physical tools to be special, something we've probably never seen before. But because you're a running back convert, you haven't done this at the level you're asked, you're being asked to do it now. So there's going to take that progress. There's going to be that progression to understand how to read your keys, how to play with leverage. And I think those are some of the things that he hasn't fully got to yet. Now, like I said, we look at 2021 and we look at how he dominated that season, Pro Bowl, All Pro, all of the nods in which he had. What has happened from that point, and we're going to talk about it in today's video with the film and everything that happened, why is he not playing at that consistent dominant level that he once played at? And where is he now? Is he that same player? Has he lost a step athletically? Is it the scheme? Is it some of the guys who have been left off of the team that now he doesn't have the right defensive tackle group in front of him? There's a lot of things you can think about, and I know you're going to drop it in the comments. But I want to start off with three things. I think that when we look at Devin White, and I looked at his film, I watched a lot of games. He's still that player in there somewhere. That's the first thing I want to say. The second thing I want to say some of these plays are not truly Devin White's fault. And we're going to get into that with the film. And the third thing I want to say is that he himself has some things that he has to clean up and that he has cleaned up in the past, but they're rearing the ugly head again. Some of those bad tendencies in which he worked so hard to get out of fell back into the trap of a little bit of those things this year. So we're going to start off with the good things. Like I said, Devin White is still a guy who can, who can fly around, who can be athletic, who can make all of the plays, can get in coverage sometimes, whether it be man or zone coverage. But I think no play really exemplifies how good he still can be and how good he still is in this play right here. So we see right here for the first thing, we got 11 personnel by the Dallas Cowboys. You see Devin White right here in the middle of your screen. I want you to notice how when I talk about linebackers, flow until you know. You have to go with the flow. You don't want to just overrun things, but you don't want to be too slow because if you're too slow, you're going to be left out of the play and you're going to be looking and looking at somebody else make a play. Now, right here, it's a fast flowing play. It's a wide zone run scheme by the Dallas Cowboys. And you see Devin White. He's flowing to the outside fast flowing, but he's feeling it, feeling it, slowing in his step as he gets lateral still. And then once he realizes they're not generating the push to beat us on the edge, we're holding the edge up pretty well. My defensive tackle in front of me is holding a pretty solid gap. So now I'm going to take the back door a little bit. And this is something that if you know when to do it, you'll be the superhero. If you don't know when to do it, everybody's going to be booing at you. But Devin White right here showcasing that he flows until he knows. And now he's taking that back door. Tony Pollard can't get to the outside. So who is he going to meet? Devin White right there in the gap. And I talk about it. And there's another play that we're going to look at talking about everything that he does good and what he does well. But I think no other play that I looked at with Devin White was prettier than this one right here. Let's take a look at it. So in this second play, as we can see, we got 21 personnel by the San Francisco 49ers. We got tight splits from our receivers. What is that telling me? We watched a lot of film on this channel to understand what that means. They're trying to arc block and pin us inside so we can pull and get to the outside. It's nothing simpler than that. But as we see in the 21 personnel, watch Devin White. It's really special in this right here. So now he's flowing, he's flowing, he's knowing it's fast flow. Once again, he's the play side linebacker, so he has to flow with it. But if you see it and if you feel it, 
because you're holding up a solid edge. Look at 92, the defensive end in front of them. Look at number nine on the edge. They're holding a solid to a great edge. I'll say it and give them that. But he sees Christian McCaffrey. He's feeling that cutback. Boom. I'm through the gap. I'm making this tackle because I'm Devin White. I'm still that guy somewhere. Now, as we talk about, there are the great plays, and we see him right here in continuation. He can still do that. What has happened to him? Nothing has happened to him. He's still that player, and I want to emphasize that for everybody to know. But we get into this next category in which I talked about, and that's the fact that some of the scheme it's not built in his best interest. And also, it's not always the scheme, but like I talked about, with the personnel, and particularly in these plays, you're going to see number 50 is not in the middle. Who is number 50? That's Vita Vea. Out of Washington, a first-round pick, one of the more dominant run stuff and defensive tackles in the game. You pair him with a Devin White because Devin White is a freakish athlete, and he's just going to run around free gaps, free lanes, make those tackles. But when he's not in the game, it's not that pretty and it's not that clear. One thing you're going to see with Devin White, he felt that some of the things he was looking at was deceiving him. Some of those reads that he felt that he could have made or that he felt that he was making, it wasn't as clear as the ones that were there in 2021 and even 2022. Didn't have the same personnel in front of him at all times. And I, I saw one thing talking about in Dominican Sue. He's not on this rotation no more. He was a big piece because you lose a Vita Vea, he's out the rotation, takes a water break, boom, bringing a suit, still can run free. Wasn't that same case, and no play shows that better right here than this one. Now, again, they're running a lot of wide zone against this team. I guess it's just one of the beaters against the Tampa Bay defense. But what we're going to see is that Devin White, he feels it, has a great feel for this right here, and we can see the gap open up right here, boom, pause it right here. We see the gap, but what else do we see? We see number nine on the defensive end. Now he's swimming to the inside. So what does this do? This also now, it allows the tackle and the tackle over personnel set. We can see number 77, he is a tackle, but they also have five. So they have tackle over with two tight ends. It's looking like 13 personnel, but instead of a tight end, it is a tackle. But now he's flowing in there. And boom, you're hooked inside number nine. And then Levante David, he's hooked inside. So now, what do we really have to do? We got a block and we got a hat on the hat on everybody. Devin White is flowing freely through the gap. He's making the right read. He's making the right play. But he can't make the play because why? Everyone else is not in their proper position. That are the things that we look at on film and say, Devin White shot the gap. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're right there. Why didn't you make the tackle? These are the things that you could only see on all 22. And that's why we have to understand everything was not on him. Now, you're not sold on that. I got another play for you. I'm coming back and back with it. Let's look at this again. We see we're against the Dallas Cowboys once again. They're in 12 personnel, two tight ends. We see the tight split by the receiver got Pollard in the backfield. Devin White, he's in the middle. So what do we see right here? We got our tight end splitting and we got our guard pulling. This can only tell us one thing. It's a power play, power to the right side, to the weak side of the formation. Now we see right here, we got Levante David over on the weak side. We got Devin White right here in the middle and he's flowing. He's flowing, he's flowing, he's flowing. But once again, as we can see, I'm gonna pause it right here. Devin White is in a prime position to make this tackle. So for everyone who feels that Devin White can't read keys or he's not, he hasn't developed past his athleticism and he relies solely on that, it's just not the case. I saw too many times in the film that he's doing the right thing, but everybody else is not particularly in the best position. And this is not a knock on Levante David. He can be a Hall of Famer with the resume that he has. We're going to talk about that later on, but this is not a knock on him. Just showing it right here. We look at this and now, boom, his outside shoulder is free. He's still blocked, though. And this gives Pollard enough speed and enough time to get out there on the edge. Although they still make the tackle, these are the types of plays you look at it and say, OK, why is Devin White not being more dominant? Why is he not flying around knocking people's heads off? It's the little things right here. You can see it right here. Now, there's another category. And what we're going to talk about to end off this video, Devin White has some things himself that he has to clean up and what i saw on film was a lot of missed tackles and a lot of his missed tackles they came to the fact that it seemed that sometimes he just didn't understand leverage 
and it wasn't a consistent theme but it was enough to say that okay this is something that has to be fixed in the next season now we look at it right here we got an inside zone look. If he continues to follow his blocks with the inside zone, nothing's there. So Devin White reading that out, being patient. Like I said, he does do it at times. Now we see it right here. He's flowing. He's flowing. We got 23 coming up to make a tackle, but he misses on this one. Joe Mixon gets the stiff arm. Now Devin White is still flowing, still flowing, not playing the hip though. This is so critical for linebackers. And in my video where I said how to become the perfect linebacker in one day, what did I talk about? You got to play with leverage. Right here, it's simple. He has the closing speed. He's a 4-4 guy. You run him down and you track that hip. Now, the only thing he can do is try to outrun your angle. Joe Mixon is not faster than Devin White. So what we have to think is that if he did that, boom, this is a tackle. It's another play, another day. Nobody worries about it. But what does he do? overrun the tackle now somebody else has to make the play and luckily they do but these are some of the things Devin White has to clean up himself when we say what really happened to him now the last play in which I want to show it's one of the more same type things now we see our center wheeling he's getting to the outside we got Tony Parler once again on a carry he's getting to the outside and Devin White He's flowing, flowing, flowing. 98 takes up this block by the center. So all we have to do is continue to flow because now I can see that I have my defensive end. He's in that C gap. I have to be the D gap defender right here. That's all we have to do if we're Devin White. Continue to flow and boom. There is no reason, no reason Devin White shouldn't make this tackle. But as you can guess, he's not going to make it. Because he doesn't continue to flow and trust his keys. He reads it. He, he understands where the ball carrier is. He understands everything right here. Continue to flow through. Boom, hit him in the mouth. Make the tackle because you're Devin freaking White. Because you're that linebacker who's about to get paid. You are that guy. But doesn't make it right here. So, as we can see, it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a up and down slope. It's a bit of an uphill battle. But... What you saw in this video and what I hopefully could show you and what I hopefully did show you, Devin White is still that same guy. What happened to Devin White? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I still believe he's that guy. Like I said, in the scheme, some of the other guys have to be more gap responsible. Talking about the defensive ends, the outside linebackers, and even Levante David. For as good as he is, sometimes we have those mishaps within the play. And it's typical. It's common. It happens to, to the best of us. But I will say we look at Devin White and all the blame goes on him because Levante David, he's past the age of 30. He was a great linebacker for years for Tampa Bay. And everybody wants Devin White to come in take the legacy and lead it and carry it on and be that hall of fame guy because that's the arc that he was on but having a down year last year particularly i think that everyone needed to know we needed to see today what is devin white still and is he still that same guy and i think he can be and i think he will be in this next season now they drafted collage of they have some work to do and they have guys who have to develop and get better in those situations defensive tackles defensive ends levante david that chemistry has to get back to where it was in 2021 but for devin white i think it's all on track that is today's video what happened to devin white i still think he's that guy but those are the things that plagued him last season and hopefully hopefully next season he'll be back